and welcome back. You. You. Yeah. We're Nikki and Kevin. We're packing our trunks and we moved into our camper van Nelly full time in March 2023 this year. We're currently in Ireland. Um, we've been here for three weeks now and uh, we're loving it. Absolutely loving yeah, it's it. Brilliant. We're currently on the Ring of Kerry and yep. um, come along for the adventure. Yep. We're we're parked on a beach called Cremain, um, which you saw at the end of last week's episode. Incredible setting to park mm. up. It is pouring with rain today, yeah, it is. but it's yeah, still incredible. Yeah. But there are people in the sea There's as well. There's people in the sea. They've put us to shame, yeah. so uh, we're going for a run, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we've put our running gear on and um, we were going to do nothing, weren't we? Yeah. But no, we thought, yeah. no, we'd better get out there. So, Couldn't yeah. quite pluck up the courage Face to have a dip the, could no. we no <laughs> uh, yeah we are going to go for a run and uh if you want to come on our adventures in ireland we're yeah. this week we're going to show you more of the ring of kerry um and if you'd like to join the gang subscribe yeah so shall we yeah off we go Don't get us wrong, we're loving this run, despite the weather. Um, but we are, oh hang on, oh there you are. We are, um, you know, those who watch this regularly, if you like a trail and not knowing what's around every corner, as opposed to this, but we can't even see a corner. There are many reasons we love Nelly, but this morning I think we've ticked, ticked boxes as where we made the right decision. We didn't buy a short van, this is an extra long wheelbase van, so therefore it was built with an actual wet room. So we went for a very wet, cold run this morning from our beach park up, but we could have a shower when we got back. Um, it holds 10 litres of water, hot water, and we managed to both have a shower, including Nikki washing her hair yeah, this morning. Within that 10 litres, I was rinsing just a little bit cold by the end. Um, so that's great, and we can we can do some hand washing and hang. You couldn't really see, but in the bathroom there, we can hang uh, our kit if we wash it out straight away. So that's great to have the length of van that's got that in it. But we're also grateful to say that we have a narrow van. <laughs> Because we've been down some proper sketchy yeah, roads, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's beautiful park and a great yeah. beach. And here we are. Way. We've come down quite a narrow lane, but we're here. Yeah. We're not. We're not going to stay here though tonight. The no, wind is absolutely. So windy, yeah. Yeah, it's really yeah. buffering the van. I think you can stay here, but yeah, um, yeah it would be very noisy. But anyway, we just wanted to tell you that lunch time now. We, uh, it hasn't been much of a day for filming because it looks like that. We've had a brilliant day and um, quite early we found our park at somewhere called Bally Carberry Castle. I'm going to take you outside and show you where we're parked um, but I won't be speaking, it's blowing a gale. And, and I'm not pouring. coming. <laughs> <laughs> and one of us has got to turn the gas on. Yeah, I'm in. And that's going to be me as well. We survived our haunted castle park up and headed for Valencia Island on the far west tip of the peninsula. We didn't let the wind and rain stop us climbing to Brayhead Tower before exploring a very wet Port McGee.
got a high five inside. Oh, we're very wet. We are wet. I don't think we deserve Charlie Rogers. So we made a picnic for today uh, for our walk, but you know, <laughs> we've had a walk. We're going to eat the picnic in the van. Look at it. And I don't, I, I don't think we've walked far enough to deserve Jammy Dodgers today, do you? We'll have to go out again then. <laughs> what we got, Nikki? Tell us what we got. We've got bagels, we've got hummus, spinach and avocado bagels, satsumas, crisps and we've got these... A few dates. Dates that we had to take a second mortgage out for. And a flask of coffee. Oh, and we did, obviously, we did have jammy dodgers, but we're not. They're going those. back in the cupboard. It's yeah. a sad day. <laughs> so, we've come to Port McGee, and we're going to have a little look round. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to go back and park, uh, park at Bray Head, because you can park overnight there. So, I think we're going to do that and have a run from there in the morning. Yeah, we thought we might go and have a look at these mountains yeah. tomorrow, but. Um, no, we're not kind of very hopeful for the weather, are we? No, the weather is great. Kind of high, yeah. Anyway, let's see uh, what Port McGee looks like in the rain. <laughs> we're trying really hard to make the best of this <laughs> weather. I know, really hard. Yeah. We've tried, haven't we? We've been in the, we've been in the to toilets. We actually brought some postcards. We went into a cafe and we thought, oh, do you know what? We'll have a coffee and a vegan cake. No, we won't. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, madam, oh. that concludes your tour of Port McGee in the rain. Good morning. Good morning. Didn't huh? we sleep well? Yeah, we did. Yeah, like a log. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really, really peaceful. What a beautiful park up. Beautiful park up. Yeah. Brayhead car park, privately owned. The guy came round last night. He was actually putting these posts in in the dark he charges 10 euros but we're gonna have 24 hours for that yeah and uh, we're here we climbed up there yesterday and, and we today could, we're just... yeah and we could this, what, just a minute ago we could see out we could see the islands but it's just clouded over coming in again over. so look we're going up there aren't we that's the Yocorn Mountain. Yocorn. So we won't be able to see a thing by the time no, we get no. there, will we? <laughs> so that's, that we'll show you now because we're probably being cloud by the time we get up there. So we're going to run up there and back and uh, we'll see you in a minute. For those who are long-term watchers of uh, packing our trunks, summer's back. <laughs> <laughs> Will we get up there <laughs> before that cut head comes? We're starting to see the top disappearing, aren't we? Can anybody explain this to us? Not today. A nice information board here to show you what you're not going to see. If we'd driven up here, it's uh, pay and display six euros. And I think you can stay overnight, can't you? Yeah, I think you can. Um, but we haven't, we've run up here. There's a sign down there that says walkers have to pay three euros. Not impressed, are we? No, no. Uh, this is hellish steep. <laughs> they never get it on the camera. <laughs> got a view. What are they, the phone? Back of the van! <laughs> They're just saying that um, that's the exercise ticked off for the day. Yes. It was nearly, it was just over eight miles in the end, wasn't it? Uh, off to look at the Kerry Cliffs, yeah. which apparently are amazing. And it's spectacular. Um, so, that's our first thing for today. Yeah. And then we're going to head on along the Wild Atlantic Way and make our way to Sneem. You'll never guess what 
at four. I know, we've got a bit of an activity booked for this afternoon. But I'm not saying anything no, now. Till we're there. Till we're there. So we're in it. We're like, yeah, we're well excited. We've just arrived for our activity, haven't we? Oh, uh, uh, destination for our activity this afternoon is not a bad setting. Can you guess what we're doing? So we're at Sneem. Sneem, yeah, that's right. And uh, we're going to have a seaweed bath in an oak barrel overlooking this lock. How about that then? Yeah, never done anything like this no, before, no, have we? No, so this not is all, all new. Yeah, yeah, apparently it's meant to be really good for your body. So we'll let you know how we get on. Yeah, so this is Brendan. Brendan, come here. He will look after you. Sneem. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Milo. Hello, Milo. What do you think, Milo? Come be on telly. Come be on telly. Come telly. <laughs> Our visit to Sneem Seaweed Baths was a joy. Host Brendan and his dog Milo gave us a fabulous history of seaweed being used for food, fertiliser and of course for skin and health benefits. He was also full of great tips for the rest of our trip. Not only that, he soon grabbed our GoPro camera to take some lovely footage of us soaking in the gorgeous warm oily water with the lock and the mountains as a background. We'll leave the link in the description and would heartily recommend including this on your own island adventures. Good morning, and before we get into where we are or what we're doing, we're just making some food for our walk today. And we've got something called a Halloween brack. And we discovered this is vegan, it has no animal products in it. So we bought ourselves one of these, very nice it is too. Slice it and butter it. And as Nikki was buttering it... So I found, I felt something a bit sharp. So anyway, I had to dig around and I'm thinking, oh my God, look, and it, it was wrapped up, right? This ring was wrapped up. And I'm thinking, no, what's happening? Like so, one of the bakers has <laughs> lost their wedding <laughs> so ring. I thought, oh, I better take it back to the shop. Anyway, so I've got the packaging out and it actually says there's a ring inside. Why? 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 So we were going to take that back to the shop. Right. So we've got our brack sandwiches made and uh without a ring in them we're here we've woken up here so this is a lovely village called sneem and we're in an air called goosey island motorhome park it is 20 euros a night with electric which we've elected to have or 15 euros without and there's um gray waste and black waste emptying and water filling and electric here and you're here and there's only two other vans here. There was only one other van here the first night. We're going to stay tonight as well. There'll be three nights in a month of or months of being in Ireland. Yeah. We've barely stayed anywhere, one or two. Um, and I think we've only twice paid for a campsite or air. Mm. So we're doing three nights running, spoiling ourselves, charging the batteries, having a shakedown. We went to the um, beautiful seaweed baths. They're just over there. 
and we then knew it was the weather was going to be appalling yesterday so we stayed again and we're doing this lovely walk today which we'll take you on now and we've got a walk planned tomorrow on apparently a beautiful starting and finishing at a beautiful beach but apparently there, there is no way to overnight it's only down the road so we thought do you know what we'll stay here and move in the morning okay let's go five miles done how many people have we seen nikki i've seen nobody have we today? not a soul no. look Lovely. at it and all around you can just all you can hear is water water yeah we uh we said it in scotland and we say it here trying desperately not to normalize being in this environment all the time it's so beautiful you all right you scared me that's me Sneem, yes. Yeah, 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 we're in the van, stayed in the van, stayed at Goosey Island. Oh, yes, yeah. Coming next week, I heard that, yeah. We really like Sneem, don't we? It's on the Ring of Kerry, it's obviously popular with coach tours stopping here, side place the sun's out for the hotel. Which is brilliant. Good, isn't it? But it's beautiful and the mountains as a backdrop. Yeah, there's a sculpture trail in snow, which concludes here. Nelly's just through the heads there. With this garden entitled The Way the Fairies Went. It's absolutely beautiful. Derry Nane House we parked and we're going to go walking this morning. Um, we parked once already haven't yeah. we? Put them back to move. Yeah we yeah. moved. We should have filmed actually. We yeah. Deciding whether we were uncomfortable. It, it did say unsuitable for camper vans although there was loads of room. Wasn't there? Yeah. So we've moved to Derry Nane House. The car park here seems fine for us. We just don't want to appear like we've capped over the night. No. We've sat in the front of the cab haven't we? We've eaten our yeah. breakfast. So yeah, so we're going to go walking here and uh, apparently the beach here is absolutely stunning. So let's go and have a look. So Derrynane House, which is over there, was the home of Daniel O'Connell, um, famous Irish liberator. He was leader of the Catholic majority in Parliament. He went on to be mayor of Dublin. Um, but he fought for the rights of Catholics initially to sit in Parliament at all. And he lived here, here in Kerry, in that house there. Um, and we've parked there to go for this walk. Um, he lived, I think, from 1775 to 1847. If I've got that right, I'm well impressed with myself. <laughs> walking across uh, Derry Nain Beach to Abbey Island. You can see the Abbey, the ruins of the Abbey behind us. Um, and our guide at the seaweed bath, he previously worked as a pallbearer for an undertaker. And when people are buried here, they would carry the coffins across at low tide. Thinking the path had run out then, weren't we? Down to the Bren here, which is no bad place, but no. Look at this. What? The walk from Derry Nain House has to be one of our favourites in Ireland so far. 
almost entirely on trails rather than roads and as ever we barely saw a soul. The icing on the cake was finding that Dairy Nane House's cafe had vegan options and so we treated ourselves to a rare meal out. <music> on the ring of Kerry I think this is a good place to end this week's video don't you um, we've had a fantastic I don't know week and a half two uh -huh. weeks I don't can't, know can't get out of the yeah, place we can we kind of kept coming and going really yeah um, but no we've had a we've had a really good week and it is beautiful so but before we go I will show us show you where we've been this week so this week we started off with our park up in Cremaine. We left Cremaine and we came out and onto the Wild Atlantic Way. Stopped beautiful place there, Kelly's Beach or Kelly Strand, Kel Strand sorry. We drove down here and we went in there and we stayed a night at Bally Carberry Castle. That was a night of the storms. Obviously it was still here, so we fared the storms okay. And from there, we came out of there and back onto the Ring of Kerry. Came round the Ring of Kerry. And then we picked up the Skellig Ring. And we went over, went to Port McGee, and then we went over to the Valencia Island. Park up here at Bray Head, and we walked to Bray Head. So from there we came off of Port off through Port McGee and we picked up the Skellig Ring again for the Cliffs of Kerry which were absolutely incredible and we took this road here and we picked up the Ring of Kerry again came all the way around here all the way around here which was absolutely stunning and we came to Sneem and that's where we've been this week so um, I guess it's just time to say thank you so much to everyone that watches and comments and uh, likes our videos and um, yeah it's it's been brilliant hasn't yeah. it yeah and thank you for everybody that's subscribed as well that's really nice yeah it's really nice yeah it's a real beast yeah it's um, we're not we love if we love having one subscriber we'd yeah. love having a million subscribers if you've subscribed to our channel and you enjoy our videos that's yeah that's, that's good for absolutely us absolutely brilliant it? Yeah. yeah we yeah. really enjoy making them yeah so what should people do they should like subscribe definitely ring the notification bell yep leave comments comments share with your friends yeah and we will see you next week. Back next week. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye.